that is a team candy and a team marlo in the situation and it seems like for now the candy coded click is winning out in these situations now on this episode of real housewives of atlanta we see that drew sadori is getting ready to do a video for her single and she calls in apparently a heavy hitting producer that is known to produce for the likes of ti dj drama and soldier boy now this producer has questions about her husband being in the video so apparently drew wants her husband ralph to be her love interest in the video but the producer is questioning whether or not ralph has the abs to be in the video and this is very shocking because we know that ralph works out so why would the producer questions whether he has the abs or not to be in this video so apparently the producer is thinking about calling in someone else to be drew sedora's love interest in this video and her husband is not happy about this at all but come to find out that the person that they wanted to be in the video did not wind up making it to the video shoot so her husband is going to be her love interest in the video after all now drew has some other ideas for the video she wants to have a scene where they're going to be in the skating ring and the other ladies are going to be in the video as well and i know people are thinking drew girl we've seen you in athletic settings you know you was over there in jamaica you already sprung your ankle in jamaica and now you're talking about being on skate so people are kind of skeptical about the skating scene now you look like you, you got some pretty good dance moves but i don't know about you being on skates we done already seen you in a wheelchair from trying to do sprints and now you want to be on skates really girl so let's move on from drew sadora and her husband let's talk about sanya sanya meets up with sheree so they decide to do some type of therapy where they are sitting in ice for about 15 minutes supposed to be good for the skin elasticity so they decide what well, sheree decide that she is going to throw an event for the lady to try to bring the ladies together because it seems like they are always getting into it with each other at least marlo and candy that is so sheree is gonna throw an event so she can try to get the ladies on the same page so that the ladies are all gucci with each other so the theme is keeping it gucci but before the event sanya wants to get together with candy because candy has not been getting along with marlo at all and sanya seems like she is kind of team marlo and thinks that marlo is validated in her feelings towards candy marlo is upset apparently because candy did not send any flowers to her nephew's funeral even though her nephew used to work at one of candy's restaurants but he was not working at the restaurant at the time you know that he was fatally injured now i can empathize and sympathize with marlo because she did lose her nephew but it seems like it is a bit of a stretch that she's going after candy for not sending flowers and the reason that i say that is because this is one of marlo's close relatives this is not one of candy's close relatives but of course that is just my opinion of the matter you might have another opinion in this situation if you do make sure you leave a comment below and so sanya meets with candy and sanya saying that she does not want to get burned and marlo's fat you know because people are upset at marlo you know she does not want that bitch you all to come towards her just because she is a friend with marlo because it seems like a lot of the other ladies are just not feeling marlo like that so candy and sanya do not see eye to eye because candy feels like marlo is trying to bring her down by attaching her to what had happened to her nephew you know that candy is already going through it with her restaurant about an incident that happened outside of the restaurant i don't even think the incident happened inside of the restaurant but this put a negative light on candy's business so she is not trying to be attached to something else that didn't even happen anywhere near her restaurant so candy explains to sanya that she is not that sentimental type of friend you know that marlo might want her brother passed away when she was just 15 years old and she knew that she had to push through i guess she said in other words marlo knows that she has to push through so she does not want marlo bringing her into the situation about what had happened to marlo's nephew 
So it appears that Sanya and Candy, they do not see eye to eye in this situation. So next we see Kenya, she is visiting someone that seems to be in the medical field and that she is talking about her embryos that she has with her estranged husband, Mark. And supposedly, you know, when they divorce, she is supposed to take control of the embryos. Now, whether Mark is fighting her on this or not, I have no idea. But anyway, she is meeting with this lady and she is asking this lady whether or not she can have another child. So apparently she wants to get Brooklyn a playmate. But you know, the doctor said, you know, Kenya had a hard time the first time around. She said that she had one of the most difficult pregnancies that she have ever witnessed. So it might not be a good idea for Kenya to get pregnant again is what I am getting from this she may want to get the assistance of a surrogate so she might want to go over and see dr jackie from married to medicine so this is what is going on with kenya apparently she's supposed to get control of the embryos and apparently she wants to have another child and she wants the child to have the same baby daddy as brooklyn even though she and mark are estranged and they are reportedly getting a divorce so moving right along the ladies meet up for brunch and everybody did keep it gucci by wearing gucci that is except for kenya that is so marlo critiqued everybody's gucci style she said kenya's outfit looks like it's straight from the thrift store but i thought that kenya looked cute she said that drew sador looked like she had on some type of handyman gucci or something so it appears she did not think that drew's gucci was a good fit she said that candy looked like she was the captain of a bowling team <laughs> now i'm not gonna lie candy had on some kind of gucci jacket and it seems like it was an afterthought so i thought she kind of nailed it when she was talking about candy and the way that she wore her gucci she said that sanya looked like she just walked into the store and picked up her gucci off the rack and paid about eight thousand dollars for her gucci really eight thousand dollars worth of gucci just to go to brunch with the girls that is a bit much just saying so anyway, the ladies meet up for brunch to try to mend their differences and Cherie is the host of the brunch and she says that she is open to suggestions from the ladies. Well, Kenya said that she has Jesus on the speed dial because I guess she feels like only Jesus can fix the situation that is going on be between Candy and Marlo. And Kenya definitely was not going to fix the differences because it seems like every time Marlo tried to talk to Candy, Kenya was saying something derogatory under her breath. The relationship is so tense between Marlo and Candy that everybody had to be assigned seating arrangements. And even though Marlo was not sitting directly by Candy, Candy said, Oh no, you got to put her at least two seats away from me. So not only were they trying to mend the relationship between Marlo and Candy, you know, the other ladies, I guess, had some issues as well. So Sanya had something to say. She said that she wanted to get something off her chest in regards to Kenya. She said she did not like the situation when they was in Birmingham and Kenya was saying that she could go home and did not have to come back. She thought that that was very rude come to find out that kenya was holding a grudge against sanya because of some interview that she had did where i guess the host had asked about kenya's behind and whether it was real or not and sanya simply said that she did not know she does not know whether you had any work on your behind or not but she felt like sanya could have said something more positive about it looks good whether or not it's real or not but instead of saying that she did not know and uh, what was so funny is that the other ladies in their interviews they were saying that they don't know if kenya's behind is real or not drew Dora was talking about when she lose weight and stay the same size when she gain weight and stays the same size <laughs> oh my goodness child milo said the same thing she said that kenya butt is not real get over it and even though Kenya got mad at Sanya for saying that she did not know if her behind was real or not, Sanya in her confessional still said that she did not know whether Kenya's behind is real or not. So Kenya did not like that, that Sanya did not take up for her in that interview. So it seems like Marlo and Kenya was trying to talk to each other and Marlo said that she cannot make somebody like her. Now she did say that the bigger issue that she has with Candy is the type of friend that Candy was. So I guess she felt like 
Candy was not being a good friend to her. I guess she was trying to talk to Candy about the situation about her nephew. And she's upset because Candy did not send those flowers to her nephew. And I get that Candy had said F the flowers. Candy got he, Candy got upset. So it appears that Candy and Marlo, they are not going to be good friends anytime soon. Now they show in the past a couple of years ago where Candy used to say nice things about Marlo. But and the last couple of years it has not been that way these two have not gotten along with each other at all and all the while while marla was talking kenya was saying stuff under her breath she started playing the harp like she did not care i mean the fake harp in the air so yeah it seems like of course uh kenya is team candy and marla was getting very upset with the situation she said that she is going to leave and she could come back when the ladies can be respectful and the candid coded click was looking at her like she was crazy because i think they was having flashback like when you shut the door on manetta when you was all up in kenya's face and she had to put that hand up and tell you to get out of her face you know and the incident that you had with drew sadora where you was fussing at drew and it looked like you was kind of maybe going to fight drew sadora so the candy coated click they was not having it but marlo is saying that they was all kissing candies behind but i think that they just have issues with you marlo girl so marlo wind up leaving before she got into it with anybody i think she did the right thing because because i think we all know that sometimes marlo has a temper so i think that it was best for her to leave and when candy said that you know forget about the flowers or f the flowers or something like that marlo said that candy is a selfish small privileged girl well you know candy might be privileged now but you know she did come from the gutter so she knows what it feels like to be at the bottom now marlo was talking about candy in her confession though and she said that candy is ignorant as cooter brown but i think that when you mention cooter brown you're supposed to be talking about people as drunk as cooter brown and not ignorant as cooter brown i am just saying so this is what is going on with the ladies of real housewives of atlanta a lot of them are not getting along right now there is a team candy and a team marlo in the situation and it seems like for now the candid coded click is winning out in these situations so anyway these are just my thoughts and opinion of what is going down on the real housewives of atlanta let me know what you thought of the episode make sure you leave a comment below and as always thank you so very much for talking about my page make sure you like this video go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel come back and watch my next video this is liz keeping up with the biz and i am out it's liz with the biz it's liz with the biz it's liz with the biz it's Liz with the beers. It's Liz with the beers. Yo, this is Liz with the beers. It's Liz with the beers. Telling it how it is. And she gon' keep it real. Cause it is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, this is Liz with the beers.